New Dan Bins, it's me, Skilly19. Welcome back to Let's Play Command and Conquer Red Alert. When we last left off, I had finished off building up like a crap ton of tanks. And uh, finished off building some defenses on our base, but I still want to get that right side all nice and defended. And then this will be it. We'll sweep through this entire mission, get this finished once and for all. Because uh, this mission's going on for a little bit too long. I don't really want to spend more than like three or four parts on a mission just because it's, it's dragging on after a while after that. So this is going to be like, I don't know, I don't care how long this is going to take. Probably like a 20-30 minute video or something like that. And uh, we're going to punch straight through this and get this mission finished because we have a lot of tanks. I'm actually going to save this quickly right here because this mission, I played it once before in my practice run and this specific mission, I don't know why, just this one. But if I have too many tanks near the north end of this map, like the northwest, I guess that is, the top left hand side. If I have too many tanks up there, for some reason my game crashes. I have no idea why it's just specifically up there, I have no idea. But it, it just does. So let's finish off putting some barbed wire in here. Get our base sealed off from infantry so nobody can sneak in and be like, Hey, let's, let's, let's steal your stuff, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so. Uh, let's spy plane and drop some random infantry. And then we'll get our yak attack plane to fly over there and blow stuff up because the infantry is going to land there. Go! Get that gap generator, go! Fly, my pretties! Fly! Blue. Fly! Wow, that did nothing to that gap generator. Holy crap. That was six Yak Attack Planes. I didn't even take it down past the water health. That's ridiculous. Wow, that thing has surprisingly... I think surprisingly strong. I'm not gonna lie. That, that shocked me right there. Alright, let's move you guys over here so I can, don't get tanks clustered when we're coming out of the war factory. Now you guys don't just sit there and like spin on the spot because you can't actually do anything. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, we are going to need more tanks. Simply, I'm just going to keep building tanks because we can. Because, uh... Uh, because, um, we have a lot of crystals in that up the north, and we're still got plenty of money, so... Actually, I'm gonna build a war factory right now as well, so I can speed up building these tanks, so we can actually get this mission done a lot faster. Uh, go blow up those artillery vehicles. Oh! What are you doing, you stupid freaking war truck? Go, go, go! Where's the yak attack planes? There they are. Go, go, go! Crush them! Lovely. That was awesome. That blew up that one really, really fast as well. That was nice. Bingo! Nice. Now that's both those artillery vehicles going. Uh, Alright. You guys blew up that. I think I'm going to get you guys to go up the top and blow up that freaking ore truck anyway. Kill that tank. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go up here. What the hell is up here that that ore truck is so... Freaking obsessed with spy plane ready. All right, let's plonk our second war factory right now and make this the primary building selected. And we will continue dumping out tanks. And because we have two war factories, they'll build at half the speed. If that's how the the math works for this game, I think. So there's ore up here that that freaking truck is interested in. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just ore. Well, you're gonna die for that. There's no way you can get past my tanks now. Goodbye. Alright, let us go back down here. Actually, what is up here? Just the tree line. Oh! No, he won't be able to get to it because it's blocked by trees. Alright, okay. I know why he's doing that now. Alright. Let's swing around with all our tanks. I think this should be sufficient enough to attack. Don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Bang! Well, how did that go? Because I can't see. Because my yak attack plans don't reveal. Wow, that was fast. Just like, eh, no. 
Uh, okay, you guys, let's move up nya. And we will blow up this freaking... Start uh, launch an attack on this base, because <laughs> I think we have enough heavy tanks. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of heavy tanks. I think it's safe to say that we're probably going to win this mission. You know, and look at how many crystals we have left. So many. It's ridiculous. They blow him up. Freaking medium tank. Like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack your battalion at nine heavy tanks. That is a smart idea, sir. I will give you that. You are very smart, medium tank. Very smart. But let's save this right here because I'm scared that as soon as we roll into this base, it's gonna crash and I'm gonna lose this and I'm gonna be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. As my computer does, because apparently my computer can't handle that many tanks going up to the northwest of this map for whatever freaking reason. Like, I don't get it. Like, it's not that I can only build, like, a set number of tanks and then the game crashes because I can't handle that many tanks in the map. Because I can build, like, I can build, like, uh, as much tanks as I want until I've run out of money on this map. And then I can sweep all the way up to the top right-hand side of the map. The top northeastern side. And it doesn't crash at all. It's only when I have a set amount of tanks, like a lot of tanks, up near the northwest side of the map. Near the the top of this base up here. No idea why. No idea why. It's just like, yeah, the rest of this map's fine, but as soon as you have like five, six tanks over here, it's like, Blah, crash! Blah. No idea why. If anyone could explain why that would be to me, I would be extremely grateful, because that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Does this game have like a pressure pad or something? Like, it, oh, if there's that many tanks in this set area, let's crash the game. Because that just doesn't even make sense to me. And like, it doesn't even give me any description. Like, Windows doesn't even help. It's just like, oh, an unknown error occurred and Red Alert must shut down. It's like, well, you must know what kind of error it is because an error is occurring, you stupid operating system. Jeez. Anyways, let's continue blowing up this base. Look at this. We're just rolling in like, hey, what's going on? Don't mind us. We're just going to sweep through everyone. Everything. Destroy all the things. All right, let's move onward. What is over here? Blow up that power plant. And destroy that turret. And we have more tanks being built as well. Awesome. All right, blow up these turrets. And then we'll blow up this freaking uh, construction yard over here. Hmm. All right, let's move over here. And what did I freaking tell you? As soon as I get too many tanks over here, it freaking crashes. So suddenly the two power plants are back up here. I goes back to the same point. My game crashed, so I've had to do this again. Blow up the entire base again, blah, blah, blah. But we, we are back. I think I have, like, about the same amount of tanks. It's just, like, the two power plants are back. And I pretty much, like, blew up as much of the base as I could. And I have, like, a couple of silos and things down here because I have a lot more money than we did last time. But... I mean, apart from that, like, I got to where we were, and then I had too many tanks sitting in this area for too long, and apparently my game crashed. So, anyway, let's just move on with this, because we're going to blow up the rest of this allied base, and we're going to get these trucks out of here and get them to Gorzov, and then we can finish this mission. Huzzah, huzzah, hurrah, hurrah. Enemy structure? That sounds like a naval yard to me. Oh crap, what the heck is all this nonsense? Ooh, there's a crate in there. And... Oh, nice! That fully healed all of our tanks. Nice! I will take that. Thank you very much, civilian building. That I'm probably not meant to be blowing up, but I am. Hey, what's going on over here? Why are you shooting the church? Hey, let us help you with that. Apparently we're... As Stalin's things, we have the liberty to blow everyone and everything to pieces. You know... But there's one thing I was really irritated about on this, uh, I was actually kind of irritated about on this game. 
that the allies like if you drive into a civilian like village or something like that the allies would uh, like rangers and things like that would automatically start open firing on the buildings and things like that I felt like going what the hell are you doing why are you opening fire on civilian buildings what the heck is wrong with you like they're unarmed civilians and you're shooting at them what is wrong with you allies don't do that the Soviets I can understand because it's portrayed that they're meant to be evil and they're they're blowing everything up blah 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 I could understand that for the Soviets allies no sorry no you shouldn't be doing that I'm sorry no what the hell is hitting me I have like artillery or some shit down here what the hell oh god that's cruisers oh god run oh god can we even get close I don't think we can I think they're too far into the middle of the war that's crap run go 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 see if you can attack them oh that sucks that really sucks why is there cruisers here god damn it why the heck do they have cruisers come on and I like how they won't even chase us they're just like conveniently just sitting there because if they chased us and came close to the shoreline I could actually like Freaking roll my tanks over and attack them. I should be able to attack that one. That one's close to the war range. Anyway, let's build some V2s. Launch some rockets at these jerkweeds. Yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I should definitely be allowed to attack him. Kill him! Sink that ship! Dick it down! Dick it all down! Silos needed. Oh, God. Oh god, we need silos. We have 15,000 credits. That's amazing. Alright, let's go down here. Hopefully, they're probably going to blow up the bridge by me driving across it, but, you know, to each his own. What a surprise! They blew up the bridge. Alright. That heavy tank's going to die. That sucks. Uh, I think I'll just build five V2s. That should be enough. Hopefully, they'll do their job. Alright, Yak Attack Plane, go and shoot him again. And all of you guys, I guess, can drive around to the base of this map. Because we're going to need you to blow up all these tanks over here. And then we can actually, like, maybe launch an attack on those uh, cruisers to make sure our ships get out of here. Our ships. Pff, to make sure our uh, trucks get out of here. Because they apparently have some kind of device in them that's going to make a bomb for us. A bomb? What'd you bring a baby a bomb for? Nah. Yeah. Making some references there. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. Oh well, I'll build another two. Well, as soon as you guys are here, attack that destroyer. Sink it. Sink it. Sink it all. It cannot stand. You must destroy it. Julian, get to the chopper. I have no idea why. So they just came out with an Arnold Schwarzenegger quote right there. Possibly because Arnold Schwarzenegger is awesome. I'm back. <laughs> I'll be back. You've been back enough. I'll be back. Yippee ki yay. <laughs> uh, if you couldn't tell, I've been. I watched uh, The Expendables 2 recently. That is a damn good movie. It's like. It's good on the principle just because it has like every action hero movie in one movie. It has like. Freaking so I sliced alone from freaking uh the Rocky movies, you have Arnie from freaking pretty much like a reaction here movie in the Terminator films. And then you have freaking Chuck Norris from the way the Texas uh, blah, 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 I can't talk the Texas Texas Walker Ranger, is it? I forget how it's said. Walker Texas Ranger, there we go. <laughs> Texas Walker Ranger. <laughs> the hell am I thinking of? Oh, man. But it's just like a mixture of like every action hero. It's ridiculously good. Though, one thing I am a little bit annoyed about is like how they got rid of Jet Li. That's a little bit annoying. That annoyed me a little bit, by the way. He's like there for like 20 minutes, has like a 10 minute action sequence, and then like he's gone. Like for the entire movie, he never comes back. It sucks. Is Jet Li one of my favorite guys? Just because he's like a martial artist. Slow, a small, quick, speedy guy. Rather is the rest of them, which are all big, like, big, huge, m m hulking, muscly guys that, like, beat the shit out of everything. But anyway, enough about Expendables movies. Let's move our trucks and our tanks over to this small island. 
Because hopefully the V2s will be able to take care of at least one of these freaking cruisers. And then I can, uh... Alright, shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Come on, you stupid V2! Why are you taking so long to fire? Shoot it! Before you get destroyed! There you go! Rick! What the hell took that thing so long to fire? When we were playing against the Russians, the V2s were like, just blah! And the rockets are gone there and then. Like that! Why can't you all do that? Thank you. Okay, that's three out of five. Come on. Damn it. I lost one. Shoot! Yay, okay. Alright, that damaged it enough. Get out of there. Uh, Alright, let's launch these yak attack planes. Go sink that. Run away! Run away, B2! Run away! Wow. I wish my cruisers were that accurate. Holy fudge. How come our cruisers were never that accurate? Whenever I fired at that kind of range, they were like, Oh, just fired and completely whiff horribly. Whereas the freaking AI ones are like, Boom, boom, bang! And they nail us. Like dead on. Well, they're about. Oh, that thing is badly hurt. Oh, this is going to take forever. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do something risky. I'm going to save this right now. LP-32, and we are gonna cheese it! Run! Because all we have to do is get to the island. Run! Alright, um, tanks. Go over... No, don't go over there. Nah, we don't want you to go over there. Uh, I want you to go here. Go straight up here. Because I want you to go to the bridge, so where you're in range. So that you get shot at, rather, is my, uh, my trucks, because we need to get the trucks out of here. And I'm willing to bet that these trucks are weak as anything. They'll probably get hit by a gust of air and die. So, everybody drive onto the bridge, even though it's complete suicide. You're drawing their fire. Because you guys are all, like, really badly hurt anyway. They're probably going to sink that bridge within, like, milliseconds anyway. Go. Get those trucks out here. Go. Blum, blum. Yep, they're sinking the bridge. Yay! Oh man, did you see that explosion? That spontaneous combustion of the turret on the top? Not really sure how that works when you shoot a torpedo, but y you know, whatever. I'm no physicist. Does fire have to do with physics? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. Anyways, we got that mission done, finally. So, next time we will take on the next mission. So, I guess... I'll type in my name right now, and I'm Skilly19, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.